Hello, this is Bella. Yes, man, this is a quick video blog. Um, let's start with what's going on. So, um, three weeks ago, I went to take the test for chemical plant operator on Momentive. I passed the test. I got invited back to get my um, to to the job interview. But after the interview, I didn't got. Um, invited to the next step in the hiring process at Momentum. So basically I lost the job opportunity to be able to get a full time job at sixteen fifty five an hour. And um, that put me in a very bad position. Last week I went to a new job interview at a um, local manufacturing company Menans. I'm still waiting to see if I can hear from them. Um and uh haven't heard from them yet. So I don't know if I'm going to get the job or not. At the same time, I today it's February 20th and I am scheduled to make a payment for my private student loan of uh, $200 and I don't have the money to be able to do that. Um, now back when I went to engineering school at RPI, I I made the mistake, uh, I, I mean, and I say I made the mistake because at that point I already had some um, issues with my advisor and it seemed didn't, it didn't seem worth for me to stay in school at that point and um, I decided to stay in school for one more semester and ended up taking a student, a private student loan of $35,000. That debt has increased with all the interest and because I have had it in forbearance before, um, because even with a full-time job, I was still having a hard time being able to pay my student loans. Um, yeah, I mean, when you get to a certain amount of student loan, it, becomes, it can become very difficult to pay back. Um, especially if you don't have a job that pays you enough money and that's right now right now my biggest problem is like I have a job that doesn't even pay me enough to live lest being able to pay my student loans um, and um, you know uh, I knew what I was getting into but at the same time I kind of think I could have avoided that and I should have taken that private loan and number one I know what I do wrong number two I want to make sure that if you are a student and you're looking at options to borrow money don't ever take a private student loan never take a private student loan that, my that is my advice that's my personal honest advice because right now I'm in $50,000 debt in private student loan plus $50,000 around $50,000 plus in federal loan federal loan because I have a low paying job and I'm also been taking um, government assistance I was able to put that loan in deferment economic hardship deferment but the private loan doesn't have that option and also my forbearance options have already been exhausted because I had my loan my my loan before um, in forbearance because also I couldn't afford paying the payment the amount that they were that they were asking for and not having money to pay all my other my other stuff you know so I'm not making this video to ask for money I mean I think I, I may have to eventually go to crowdfunding to try to get some money to pay this private loan but right now I'm just I just wanted to say this message so that way students that are in school do not make the same mistake that I did and um, for my part I really don't know what I'm going to do you know if I don't get a full-time job or a higher paying job I'm not going to be able to pay this to the loan back and um, the job market for me has been difficult I haven't been able to get a, a job in my area up here I feel like I'm stuck over here. I'm trying to move out of the area, but also I don't know how it's going to work in other job markets, you know, especially when you've been out of a particular field for so long, your chances of getting a job in that particular field decreases. So, um, and um, certainly 
the other education that I just finished, I don't know if that will help me to get a job that will pay me enough to, to live. Uh, so I am concerned. I am really concerned. And I don't know how I'm going to get out of this one, you know. I know there's a way out. I just have to keep searching. But at the same time, it's, it's once I have defaulted to this loan, the concern, my concern now is like I already missing one, the first payment. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make the second payment because I didn't pay the first payment. The second, the first payment is going to be added to the second payment. So my, the amount that I will have to pay back is going to be an insane amount, and I don't have that amount of money to pay back. So most likely my son is going to end up defaulting, and that's where the mess is going to begin. And um, that is not a good thing. I felt like, like, like now my life is going to go into a downhill spiral financially where I will not be able to buy anything. I will not be able to afford buying a house. Now, well, I don't need, I didn't even think I would want to buy a house. I will not be able to buy a car. I will not be able to ask, you know, it's going to be a mess, a, a big mess from now, from now on. And that's something for concern. But at the same time, I just cannot give up. I mean, I know that that's still on there but at the same time I know that personally I can give up on uh, on this and I can't give up on my life you know even yeah I have a still loan so what you know it's not the end of the world I don't say it that way but I wish there was another option for this and it doesn't seem to be uh, available I already called the company I called to a manager they don't have any option and uh, to be honest, the fact that this company doesn't have any option when you're in a position like me or like many other students that don't have a job that pays them enough money to be able to pay their um, private student loan, it's ridiculous and nobody has done anything about it and uh, basically they have control over that. The company that owns my student loans have control over that and I have very little control. I know I'm already bankrupt, so even if it's go to my credit reporting agency, guess what? It's not going to do anything right now to my report because I'm already bankrupt. What else is going to do? Oh yeah, you default on a student loan, so what big deal, you know? Uh, but at the same time, they have more power. They can continue requesting collection of that money. And if I don't have a job to be able to pay that, how they expect me to pay at the amount of student loan debt that I have? It's going to take me a very higher, a very high paying job to be able to pay, pay it back. Plus, I also have the living expenses. Not living with my parents, you know, I have living expenses, rent, food, uh, housing, transportation to go to work. You know, those are things that I need to be able to make a, to, to make earn a living, earn earn an income so that I can pay back my other expenses. And um, you know. What, what they're going to do if they can't reach my wages, you know, they're going to be putting me, they're going to be doing them, themselves a this favor because yeah, I can't, I'm going to be able to pay my expenses to be able to work and they were not going to get any income. So this is a big loop and there's nothing to go out, you know, I just wish people, um, government will do something about it um, because it's, it's needed. Anyway, peace out.